visual arts teacher to grade 11 and 12 students and I'm also an artist on the side here in Toronto. I love working with acrylic, gouache, mixed media and I love adding embellishments such as fabrics and sequins to my artwork. Um, so you can see that I'm here outside. Why? Because I've been stuck at home for so long I thought I'd just bring my sketchbook, you know, get some fresh air and draw. Um, it's been really difficult as an artist to work during this pandemic. Since staying home, I feel my art practice has increased more than usual. Most of my time is occupied with teaching my grade 11 and 12 visual arts students. I do miss going out to buy art supplies for them and myself, of course. But since staying home, it has given me more time to focus on my own art practice. Here are some artworks that I've created since staying home. I've been taking on more art projects, gigs, and commission work through social media. Instagram has been my hub of finding artist calls, art challenges, and connecting with people near and far. The highlight of this pandemic was winning the art contest for children of 1971. Not only was I able to get closer to my roots through art and shine patriotic vibes, but it was an honor and a great experience. Through this contest, I was able to connect with other talented artists and like-minded individuals. In addition to my artwork, I also had the pleasure of doing a spoken word art piece which focused on my parents immigrating to Canada and exploring how they managed to teach our Bengali culture to me while growing up. I've been very lucky to have great support online. It's nice seeing people help local Toronto artists during this troubling time. I've gotten quite a few commission works to do, and this was one of them. I'm fairly lucky to have my time occupied during this pandemic. I'm thankful to have art in my day-to-day -day routine as it's the only thing keeping me sane and going. I'm sure many of us are going through a lot and it's not easy being quarantined. I suffer from PTSD, anxiety, and depression, and art has been my saving grace. The latest piece I've created was this Mandela painting with rhinestones. I love using hints of gold in my work as it adds a touch of beauty. To me, mandalas are not only therapeutic, but healing to create and see. This pandemic has given me a chance to heal and be in tune with my art. Thanks for watching and I hope you all stay safe.